Les sélectionneurs à nouveau, je vous ferai partager mon amour de la Bretagne. La Bretagne, intime et secrète, nostalgique, éternelle. Anyway. It's 6.45 and I need to wake up. I go take my shower. I try my first outfit. I try my second outfit. And I come back to my first outfit. Now I'm having my breakfast. I burn my toast. But I eat it anyway. It seems like my last article is in the newspaper today. I feel really proud. Mm. Now I'm going to work and taking the subway. I sit down and start working. It's 10 a.m. now, I go get myself a coffee. And, and I spill it all over me. And I take the subway again. I get my second outfit. And my boss calls me. Hello? Hey, it's 10 a.m. What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I went back home. You better get here right now. You're gonna get fired, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. And I, w and I run in order to get back to work. It's 12 a.m. now. I'm going to eat. I hit my pasta and suddenly I hear something that caught my attention. So tomorrow at 8 a.m. we will rob this bank, HSBC. Mm. We're gonna climb the wall, okay? Mm. Just don't tell anyone. I won't. Someone at the next table was talking about the rob. So I called 911. And I explained everything about the rob to the police officer. And the next day... Freeze! The place is surrounded. You gotta place to go. You gotta throw out any weapons you got and put your hands on your head. Don't move! I felt very proud about it. A few hours later, and I come back to home. I wrote on hell of an article about it. A journalist named Paul Fournier helped the police to stop the bank robbery. I guarantee you it feels good to read that. Then I got home because I was tired. Anyway, I'm a journalist. <laughs>